Hello everyone, and welcome to this co-op episode here today. Now you might be wondering why is this postcom? Um, basically, I forgot to enable Tom's voice in the background, so yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. So you'll be hearing my voice and my voice only. Um, I'll be I'll keep on doing postcom for the video, which will be like a Karima video basically. Um, but I'll have music in the background as well because you won't hear the gameplay. So um, yeah, here we are on the grid then for the British Grand Prix, our home Grand Prix. So they're certainly not in the game, but uh, as we go to five red lights now, we've got three lights, it's four lights, it's five lights. So that's the way we go here for the British Grand Prix, we've got us a relatively good start. Uh, Tom has been stuck behind a Verline, I think that is, or Ericsson, it's Verline. I've gone down the inside, or tried to, but they've covered the inside off all the AI. And now we're going to go around the outside of the two McLarens, uh, I've lost count of how many cars I overtook then. Um, and now we're going to go try and try around the outside of Verstappen and or is, it, is it Verstappen or Ricardo? I can't tell. Um, and Vettel, I think it is. Yeah, Verstappen and Vettel. So uh, we're now going to go three wide with Raikkonen now trying to gain world, which is amazing. And so now we're going to go down the inside. We've touched the side of Vettel, and unfortunately we've gone back down to last place again because of a half spin, which is uh, unfortunate. But now, because we've gone to later on out now, and now we've already now cut up to their line. That just shows how slow the Sauber is. Um, we're now going to go around the outside down the Hangar Strait or Wellington Strait. I can't remember which one it's called. Um, but now we're going to go. We've successfully passed um, their line, and now we're going to go follow. Um, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm rubbish with the. How can I see these names? It's a McLaren and Palmer. Down inside of Palmer now, we've run it a bit wide to give Palmer the room. Palmer's tapped us there a little bit. We're now, oh, Palm, Palmer. I mean, come on now, Palmer, you've got to give us some room there. I mean, what is that? That's just messy. Literally messy. But now we're going to run it wide purposely. I mean, not because I've lost the rear end or anything. We're going to go down the inside of Palmer, and that is now us up into 17th, I think that is. Uh, or 16th, can't quite tell. Um, and now we're going to go around the outside of Alonso, of Ricardo maybe. No, nope, Ricardo's too far ahead. So we've gone around, around the outside of Alonso there, and that is us up into 16th now. So yeah, it was 17th. And now we've got Ricardo going down the inside of Hulkenberg here. Now we're going to go, we're going to follow him through hopefully because Hulkenberg has got a terrible run. And now we're going to go down the inside of Hulkenberg into the club section. I think this is club. I don't know. And now we're up into 15th place, or well, 14th now actually. And uh, we're now right behind Tom uh, Ricardo. That wasn't the cleanest of overtakes there. We've gone down the inside of both of the Red Bulls there. We're about to run it wide because Verstappen was still there. And now we are now up into 11th, I think that is. And now we're going to go dive bomb it down the inside of Raikkonen. And that was a long way behind, I will admit. And uh, if you can't tell, this train that I'm in is Tom's train because apparently he was having issues with his control over during this race. I couldn't quite tell. But now we're now right behind Kvyat. Now we're going to try, going to take an alternative line. But Tom has gone really wide ahead of us, and now he's Kvyat has stopped. He's come out ahead of Kvyat, and now we've overtaken him and Kvyat. So we're now above and past Tom as well. So uh, this is a, a good race so far for myself, um, having spun at the first uh, corner as well, but we're now coming to pit lane for the first and only time in this, in this uh, race. Um, I don't... Well, please someone explain this to me, why the pit stop limiter, or the pit lane limiter in Silverstone is 37 miles per hour. I thought that was only for street races. This isn't a street race, it's on a circuit. So why is it only 37 miles per hour? Anyway, coming into the pit lane now, changing onto the soft part, compound tyres. Are we going to jump? No. Uh, Magnussen has jumped strong though, which is important, and I think Verstappen jumped Raikkonen or Vettel, I think, behind us. So uh, that was a nice move from Vettel uh, there. Vettel? Verstappen, even. Um, his pit crew did quite well there to do that, and now we're coming out just ahead of Tom, I think that is. Yeah, it's Tom on the minimap there. As you can see, he's now right behind us when I look behind me. Yep, he's right there. So uh, there's Tom, and now we've pulled up to the back of Stroll now with only a couple laps left. Now we're going to go right past Stroll into the podium places, is that? Or fourth, I can't quite tell because of the skybox, but uh, oh no, it is fourth. Now we're going to go down the inside of Stroll 
a stroll. Oh my god, what's wrong with this commentary? Science up into the podiums that still aren't even in the podium. What's wrong with me? Um, now catching up to Grosjean now, uh, which will be for fourth place. And then we're going to pass Massa, which will be for the podium this time. Definitely going to be for the podium this time. And now we're going to cut to the point where we pass Massa. He's going very slowly into the uh, Brooklyn's area, whatever this place is called. Now we're going to go around the outside, possibly, of Massa. Yeah, we've got better grip, we've got better tyres. Now we go around the outside of Massa, and we're now up into the podium places. And now coming through Marcus and Vekas now, we've lost the rear end, we're losing the rear end, we've gone round. Um, yeah. I can't wait for the comments on this. No, oh, we've bottled the podium, oh, we've bottled the podium. But yes, I did bottle the podium. Just leave me alone, please. Please, beg, please leave me alone. But um, we're now coming under pressure now from three cars. I don't know who they are. The Ferrari has gone down the inside of a Red Bull, I think, then. Um, so, unfortunately, coming on to the last lap now, we've got Vettel going to try and overtake him. Now we block him off there successfully. Now, as we come round Stowe, uh, unfortunately, for seventh place, Sergio Perez wins the Grand Prix, which is mental. If you've all watched him watching his career, mode, it's mental how many races he's won. But uh, coming around the final corner then to finish seventh in the British Grand Prix, which is all right considering the spin. So then the final race classifications are Sergio Perez and Espan Ocon get a 1 2 for Force India. Uh, Tom managed to finish third, but he was a lot slower than me during the race. If you can see about the fast laps, uh, Massa, Grosjean, Sainz, then myself, uh, Vettel, and Raikkonen finishing way down there in, uh, in the points. Ricardo in, in the last points playing position. And uh, Max Verstappen there, not even out of points. What's wrong with Verstappen there? Um, so yeah. Uh, I think only Raikkonen was the only other one to get into the 30, which is nice. And Palmer there finishing 10 seconds behind a Sauber. I mean, what is wrong with Palmer? You, know, you made two stops for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and Van Dorn there finishing you know, where the McLaren's normally finish in 15th and 17th. So moving on to the driver standings then, Tom has extended his lead to 12 points now for myself. Uh, Raikkonen is a further 5 points behind me, 6 points behind me, something like that. And then. <laughs> Sergio Perez is now in the title fight. I don't know how. I don't know where this has come from. But Sergio Perez is now in the title fight. Um, so this should be interesting with four people in the title race and one of them shouldn't really be there because it should be the other Ferrari of Vettel. But um, hey ho. I mean, why is it that? But moving on to the constructors then, um, we've got a uh, Mercedes have increased the gap, I think, in the constructors to. 55 points, does that say? I can't quite see on the preview, but um, other than that, nobody else has moved. Uh, just got a lot of more points, really. So, uh, if you didn't enjoy this episode of Co op, and once again, I apologize for the audio issues I have. It was my fault. I forgot to uh, change the settings on Xbox. But uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like and comment. And I will see you next time for the Hungarian Grand Prix, which will be the same because we recorded them back to back. Goodbye.